Hi everyone, myself Sibina, Faculty of Silver Hills Public School, Chemistry Department. In this session, we are discussing about Chapter 2 Solutions, Colligative Properties, that is Depression in Freezing Point. So, before moving to Depression in Freezing Point, let's we can consider Colligative Properties. What is meant by a Colligative Properties? Properties of solution which depend only on the number of solute particles and it is independent on the nature of solute particles. It depends only on the number of particles, solute particles and independent on the nature of solute particles. That type of properties are called colligative properties. And the four important colligative properties are relative lowering in vapor pressure, elevation in boiling point, depression in freezing point and fourth one osmotic pressure. In this session we are discussing about the third colligative property depression in freezing point. So before moving to depression in freezing point let us consider what is meant by a freezing point. Freezing point of a liquid is the temperature at which both the liquid phase and the solid phase has the same vapor pressure. Freezing point is the temperature at which both the liquid phase and the solid phase has the same vapor pressure. And we know that by adding a non-volatile solute, the vapor pressure of solution get decreases because the non-volatile particle it will occupy on the surface of the solution. So as a result, rate of evaporation decreases, obviously the vapor pressure of solution also decreases. Since the vapor pressure of a solution containing non-volatile solute get decreases. Obviously, the freezing point of solution is always less than that of pure solvent because freezing point means it is the temperature at which both the vapor pressure of liquid phase and the solid solvent has the same vapor pressure. Now, let us consider a graph of depression freezing point then it will be clear for you how the freezing point get decreases by adding a non-volatile solute. Uh, this is a curve for a liquid solvent and this is a curve for a frozen solvent. And at this point both the liquid solvent and the frozen solvent has the same vapor pressure or we can say that both the liquid solvent and the frozen solvent is in equilibrium at this point D. And the corresponding temperature, the temperature at which both the liquid solvent and the frozen solvent is in equilibrium, that temperature is called freezing point of pure solvent. It is denoted by Tf0, 0 stands for pure state. And this is a curve for solution, vapor pressure curve for solution. And at this point, both the solution and the frozen solvent is in equilibrium. Or we can say that both the solution and the frozen solvent has the same vapor pressure at this temperature. And this temperature is called freezing point of solution and it is denoted by Tf. So from graph also we can say that Tf0 is greater than Tf or freezing point of pure solvent is greater than freezing point of solution. So, the temperature corresponds to the point B, the graph where the solid and the frozen solvent meet. Or we can say that both the solid and liquid have the same vapor pressure. And this temperature corresponding to this temperature is called freezing point of pure solvent that is Tf0. And the temperature corresponding to the point D were the solution and the frozen solvent liquid meet this represent the freezing point of solution and it is denoted by Tf. Now what is meant by a depression in freezing point? We know that by adding a non-volatile solute the freezing point of solution get decreases. Tf0 is greater than Tf or we can say that Tf is less than that of pure solvent and this phenomenon is called depression in freezing point 
That means by adding a non-volatile solute, the freezing point of solution get decreases or the freezing point of solution get depressed and that is called depression in freezing point and it is calculated by the equation delta Tf equal to Tf0 minus Tf where Tf0 stands for freezing point of pure solvent, Tf freezing point of solution. So experimentally it is found that delta Tf is directly proportional to molality of the solution small m or we can write it as delta Tf equal to Kf into m where Kf is a proportionality constant and this proportionality constant is called molar freezing point depression constant or we can say that it is called cryoscopic constant. So experimentally it is found that delta Tf proportional to molality of the solution or delta Tf equal to Kf into m. Kf is a proportionality constant and it is called molar freezing point depression constant or it is also called cryoscopic constant. Now how can we define cryoscopic constant Kf? So delta Tf equal to Kf into m. So when m equal to 1 or when the molality of solution is equal to 1 delta Tf equal to Kf. So how can we define molar cryoscopic constant? It is the depression in freezing point for one molar solution. Delta Tf equal to Kf when m equal to 1 or we can say that it is the depression in freezing point when the molality of the solution equal to 1. Cryoscopic constant it is defined as it is a depression in freezing point for one molar solution or we can say that it is the depression in freezing point for a solution containing one mole of solute dissolved in 1000 gram of solvent. I repeat it is the depression in freezing point when one mole of solute dissolved in 1000 gram of solvent. Now when we consider all colligative properties whether it is relative lowering in vapor pressure, elevation in boiling point, depression in freezing point, all colligative properties the main application is determination of molar mass of unknown solute present in the solution. We can determine the molar mass of unknown solute present in the solution. Now by using this uh, depression in freezing point how can we determine the molar mass of solute? For that let us consider Wb gram of a non-volatile solute it is dissolved in Wa grams of solvent. Let Mb is the molar mass of solute. Wb is a weight of solute, Wa weight of solvent, Mb is a molar mass of solute. According to the molality equation we know that molality equal to number of moles of solute divided by weight of solvent in grams into 1000, number of moles per kilogram that is molality. Just substitute the values, number of moles means it is given mass by molecular mass of solute. So Wb by Mb into 1000 by Wa. So we know that depression in freezing point is given by the equation delta Tf equal to Kf into M. Let us substitute for molality. So delta Tf equal to Kf into ms Wb by Mb into 1000 by Wa. So from this equation we can derive what is Mb. Mb equal to Kf by delta Tf into Wb by Wa into 1000 where Mb it is a molar mass of solute, Kf cryoscopic constant or we can say that molar depression freezing point constant. Wb it is a weight of solute, Wa weight of solvent into 1000. So if we know the values of Kf, delta Tf, Wb and Wa, we can calculate molar mass of unknown solute present in the solution. Now we can move to the problems related to depression in freezing point. The first problem. 45 gram of ethylene glycol 
is mixed with 600 gram of water. 45 gram of ethylene glycol is mixed with 600 gram of water. Calculate the freezing point depression and the second question calculate the freezing point of solution. And it is given K for water 1.86 Kelvin kilogram mole inverse. So from this question or whenever there is a question based on colligative property it is given, the first thing you have to analyze what is the solute, what is the solvent in the given problem. So here 45 gram of ethylene glycol is mixed with 600 gram of water. That means ethylene glycol is a solute, its weight is 45 gram. And solvent here it is water and the weight of solvent here 600 gram. So only the two values are given and also Kf also it is given. Now from these three values how can we calculate the depression in freezing point that is delta Tf. So Kf 1.86 Kelvin kilogram mole inverse, Wb 45 gram, Wa 600 gram and here it is specified it is ethylene glycol and we know the formula of ethylene glycol C2H6O2. So there are 2 carbon so 2 into 12 and there are 6 hydrogen 6 into 1 and there are 2 oxygen 2 into 16. So the molecular mass of ethylene glycol equal to 62 gram per mole. So we know these values just substitute in the equation delta Tf. Delta Tf equal to Kf into Wb by Wa into Mb. Here delta Tf equal to Kf is 1.86, Wb 45, Wa 600 gram and Mb 62 gram per mole. So after calculation you will get delta Tf equal to 2.25 Kelvin. And there is one more question is here, calculate the freezing point of solution. So we got the depression in freezing point delta Tf. And we know that delta Tf is equal to Tf0 minus Tf. So delta Tf equal to Tf0 minus Tf. From that equation Tf that is freezing point of solution equal to Tf0 minus delta Tf. But in this problem Tf0 is not given. So how can we calculate Tf0? Tf0 is the freezing point of pure solvent. And here the solvent is water. We know that freezing point of water 0 degree Celsius. But delta Tf is in terms of Kelvin. So that 0 degree Celsius you have to convert into Kelvin. It is 273.15 Kelvin. Substitute for delta Tf0 and delta Tf. So 273.15 minus 2.25 you are getting 270.9 Kelvin. Let us consider another problem. Here calculate the freezing point of a solution containing 60 gram of glucose, molecular mass of glucose it is given 180 gram per mole dissolved in 250 gram of water and K for water 1.86 Kelvin kilogram mole inverse. So in this problem here the solute is glucose because glucose dissolved in 250 gram of water. So Wb 60 gram glucose, Wa 250 gram water, Kf it is given of water 1.86 Kelvin kilogram mole inverse. And the molecular mass of solute also it is given that is glucose 180 gram per mole. And what is the question here? Calculate the freezing point of solution. So in order to calculate freezing point of solution, we have to calculate delta Tf, depression in freezing point. What is the equation for depression in freezing point? Delta Tf equal to Kf into Wb into 1000 by Mb into Wa. All the values are given Kf 1.86, Wb weight of glucose 60 gram, Mb Molecular mass of glucose 180, Wa 
weight of water 250. So, delta Tf you are getting 2.48 Kelvin. And here the question is not the depression in freezing point. Here the question is calculate the freezing point of solution. So, uh, freezing point of solution equal to Tf equal to Tf0 minus delta Tf where Tf0 is the freezing point of pure solvent and we know here solvent is water and freezing point of water 273.15 Kelvin. Substitute for delta Tf also. So, you will get 273.15 minus 2.48 Kelvin and that is equal to 270.67 Kelvin. This is the freezing point of glucose solution when 60 gram of glucose dissolved in 250 gram of water. So, the final answer is 270.67 Kelvin. Now, let us consider another problem. It is a different type of problem compared to the last two problems. Two elements A and B form two compounds having molecular formula AB2 and AB4. And this AB2 and AB4 dissolved in 20 gram of benzene. So, when dissolved in 20 gram of benzene, 1 gram of AB2 lowers the freezing point by 2.23 Kelvin. Whereas, 1 gram of AB4 lowers the freezing point by 1.3 Kelvin. So, what is the meaning of this? When 1 gram of AB2 dissolved in 20 gram of benzene, the depression in freezing point is equal to 2.3 Kelvin. In the case of AB4, when 1 gram of AB4 dissolved in 20 gram of benzene, the depression in freezing point is 1.3 Kelvin. And here the question is calculate the atomic masses of A and B. K for benzene it is given 5.1 Kelvin kilogram mole inverse. How can we calculate the atomic masses of A and B? And here two conditions are there AB2 and AB4. So, first of all we have to calculate molecular mass of AB2 and molecular masses of AB4 separately. So, let us consider AB2. Delta Tf that is depression in freezing point of AB2 when 1 gram of AB2 dissolved in 20 gram of benzene is 2.3 Kelvin. Kf of benzene 5.1 Kelvin kilogram mole inverse. Let us substitute in Mb that is molecular mass of AB2. We know the equation Mb equal to Kf Wb into 1000 by delta Tf into Wa. Kf of benzene 5.1, weight of AB2 in 20 gram benzene 1 gram divided by 20 into 2.3 and that value you are getting 110.87. And what is this value? 110.87 stands for molecular mass of AB2. Similarly, just find out the molecular mass of AB4 also. 1 gram of AB4 dissolved in 20 gram of benzene and the depression in freezing point is 2.3 Kelvin. Here also the solvent is benzene. Kf of benzene is 5.1. Kelvin kilogram mole inverse. So, similarly like AB2, here also find out molecular mass of AB4. Mb equal to Kf by delta Tf, Wb by Wa into 1000. So, 1 gram of AB4 dissolved in 20 gram benzene having depression in freezing point 1.3 Kelvin. That value you are getting 196.5. So, molecular mass of AB4 equal to 196.5. So, two values we got molecular mass of AB2 equal to 110.87, molecular mass of AB4 we got it as 196.15. So, from these two values, how can we derive the atomic masses of A and B? For that, let assume that small a be the atomic mass of atom A 
and small b as the atomic mass of b atom b so m a b 2 means there are one atom of a and there are two atoms of b so we can write it as a plus 2b equal to 110.87 similarly ab4 means implies that there is one atom of a and four atoms of b or we can write it as a plus 4b equal to 196.15 this is a linear equation in variables a and b just solve let first equation a plus 2b equal to 110.87 and second equation let it be a plus 4b equal to 196.15 equation 2 minus 1 it will give 2b equal to 85.28 or we can say that b equal to 42.64 so we got the value atomic mass of b equal to 42.64 just substitute this value b in equation 1 a plus 2b equal to 110.87 so a plus 2 into 42.64 equal to 110.87 so after solving you will get a equal to 25.59 so the atomic mass of a 25.59 atomic mass of b 42.64 okay atomic mass of a equal to 25.59 atomic mass of b equal to 42.64 hope it is clear for you thank you